my ring light is broke so this is the light we're gonna have to use for now before I start let me put my lipstick on and I'm gonna do this on camera because y'all be talking about give us some lip combos blah blah on my Instagram so this is Mac this is Mac and what color is it? I think it's brown oh chestnut this is chestnut just gonna throw this on real quick I get big paper, so I deal with big haters. Big, big paper, so I deal with big haters. Big, big. Okay, that vent turned off because whew, it was blowing in the back. Then I got my NYX lip gloss here, and this color right here, I think it's fortune cookie fortune cookie I got mad different lip combos to be honest I gotta do a YouTube video on that cuz I'll be having the colors the combos to be specific this ain't right this ain't right oh man now I messed up gotta fix this it ain't gotta be perfect because I ain't going nowhere. This is just for the video. Then I got my pink lip gloss. This is almond glaze. Cause it's like a tan gloss. So yeah. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> so this is the best lighting I can get right now because my ring light is broke. I just try to like use it and that shit almost blew up in my face. I have to order a new one. We're not doing that right now, so. This is the oh, this is the best lighting I can get. Okay, guys. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back with another video. And it's not hair. It's a video y'all want to see. So, yeah. Let's get started. This is a new an updated question and answer because I did a question and answer I think about like three two to three years ago I think three years now yes three years because we're in 2022 so I definitely did it three years ago maybe even four I don't know but I did a question and answer a very very long time ago like mad long ago like mad long ago when I was living with my mom like that was like mad long ago so yeah all right I got these questions from my people that follow me on Instagram so yeah, we're just going to get right into it. I got 15 questions. And I'm not going to rush the video, but I'm going to try to answer them as fast as possible because I don't want to be sitting here all day. Even though I did want to do a updated video for y'all on some type of content because I just don't be having no content in my head. Nothing that I feel like is interesting enough to even record. I do mad life vlogs, life update. And I come back with them just like every two to three months and update y'all. It doesn't it just don't fall down the line like it, it's never right so i decided i'm gonna just do a little question and answer get everything back running then i'll go back to the life update life vlog things like that but right now i need a little interesting video because what the hell this is getting boring okay let me get started don't mind i wait from the back you can hear click 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 because it's playing the game at least he muted it for me so he's trying but okay you, you're still gonna hear the clicks though and that's the that's the other because I'm baking some chicken. I'm cooking. So okay, let me start the questions. Question number one. Okay, so question number one. Someone asked me, "What are your goals for 2022?" So for as of right now, the first thing that comes to my mind, my goals for 2022, is to start a business. Now I don't know what business because I really don't know what the hell I want to do. But I just know I need a business. Like, I don't know. I need a business. I really want to be a singer. But I just cannot follow up with that dream right now. So I have to start a business for now. So yeah, that's my number one goal right now. I need to start a business. And then my second goal for 2022 is to buy a house. Live in a house, move in a house, rent it, then buy it. I don't know, but I just want to be in a house. I'm tired of spending so much money in these apartments. They're so nice, they're luxury, but very expensive. I could be spending this on a mortgage. So I just have two main goals right now for 2022. And it's start a business 
and live in a house. I want a house. I want a big ass house. Like, I know I'm gonna be scared, but I still want a house. I'm tired of these people complaining. I'm tired of the neighbors. They complain about everything, Karens, all that. I just need a house. So it was like, that's my two main things I'm focused on right now for 2022. Start a business and move in a house. The buildings was nice. It was an experience. Wavy. Amenities, all that fire. But I'm over it. I just want a house. I'm ready to throw house parties. Like, I don't care. I don't want neighbors complaining no more. I'm ready for cops to come in my door. <laughs> at this point i don't i don't want to deal with it so yeah start a business and move into a house that's my goal for 2022 that was question number one now let me go to question number two question number two is the favorite purse that i own um i really don't know i like all my chanel bags those are my favorite purses i don't have a specific favorite purse that i like this is one of my favorite bags Right here, it's a red Chanel my sister bought me for Christmas. But my favorite purses right now is my Chanel's. I don't have one specifically. I just mainly love my Chanel bags and I'm trying to get more, so. Yeah, I don't have a favorite purse. I just know which purses I like the most out of all of my purses and it's the Chanel ones. They just, the prettiest to me, stand out the most. They're just the best. I'm, I'm just gonna say my Chanel bags. But I don't have a specific purse. They all special to me. Especially the Chanel's. Because when the person buys you Chanel, you know they love you. My Chanel's from my sister. My Chanel's from my boyfriend. I like my Chanel bags. So, those are my favorite purses. It's not one in particular. It's just all of them. Question number three. How's life mentally for me? I don't know. I don't even know why I wrote this question down because I don't know how I'm going to respond. Um, good. I'm in a good headspace. Um, yeah, that's just how it's going. To me, everything is good. I don't have no serious problems right now. And I'm so thankful and grateful for that because it'll be some type of problems. You'll be good, but you'll have a court date or you'll have one little problem. Or I don't have no major problems right now in my life and I'm thankful for that so um mentally I'm happy that's all I can say <laughs> question number four y'all is harassing me about this shit on Instagram when are you gonna have your first baby and what gender do you want we having babies this year guys like I'm old like hello it's time to start the family um God knows I want a boy because I'm too mean and too hard and too rough for a girl. A girl's going to be nice down the line later on in life. But as of right now, for my first kid, I want it to be a boy. It has to be a boy. Like, I'm a boy mom. Yeah. I don't know. I don't want to deal with girls right now. Like, I'm too tough. And... I just feel like I'll be a good boy mom. I'm going to be a good mom regardless. But like boy specifically. For the first. It, it has to be a boy. Because. That's just my vibe. And that's just. That's my personality. I'm, I'm, I'm a mother of a boy. Like. I don't think I'll be a mother to a girl. Because. I don't know. I'm too mean. Um, I'm kind of harsh. I'm just very mean. Yeah. And I don't want to hurt the feelings. A boy, maybe he'll take it more tougher, you know. I'd rather punch my son than have to punch my daughter. Cause <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, a boy. And this year, guys. <laughs> Question number five. This is mad funny. I don't know why the hell y'all want to know. They said, what do I think personally about Boogie's album? His new album. I think it's fire, of course. I think it's tough. Hello, y'all don't see my last pictures on Instagram. It's all from his songs. The captures, the captures, is, the captures is from artists. Like, um, to me, he always gonna be good and undefeated. So, I think it's fire. What do you think? I don't know. Leave below in the comments. I think it's fire. That's all I think. <laughs> I wish I could rap like that. <laughs> Question number six. I'm about to choke on my spit. Okay. It's getting hot in here because I'm baking this chicken. 
How do you stay confident with all the hate slash people trying to bash you? Um, it never crosses my mind. So, it's nothing for me to say to myself ever, stay confident or this and that. It just don't cross my mind. <laughs> um, I don't ever think about nothing people say about me because I know me in real life. And, yeah, people don't bother me. A comment doesn't bother me. Things y'all think of me on the internet doesn't bother me because in in real life my life is good and so it's like it's not like those comments affect my my real life you know it doesn't do nothing in my real life like i don't know what y'all be thinking or maybe other people's weak you know maybe other people's weaker and shit like that but that's just not me i never been weak i never been down and sad about a fucking comment or people's thoughts on me because to me i'm the shit and i love me so, yeah, that doesn't get to me. Um, now, if I did something and I know I'm wrong and y'all bashing me on the internet about it, maybe I'll sit home and think about it like, damn, I fucked up. But I don't ever think I'm wrong in anything <laughs> and nothing gets to me. So, yeah, like any comments, anything people say about me, even with all the people on TikTok that be talking about me, and talk, that shit doesn't get to me. I love the attention and... I'm gonna troll off of it. That's what, that's how I think. Like I'm gonna troll off of it. Like I don't know, but none of that shit bothers me. Like ever, ever. The only thing that bothers me is that I have a stalker. That's the only thing that bothers me. Cause like, damn, who hate me so much? But yeah, um, the comments and people bash me. That shit don't get to me at all. It it, it doesn't even cross my mind ever like ever i'm never thinking in bed late at night up oh my god why do people don't like me that's never my thoughts in my mind <laughs> my thoughts be what the fuck i'm gonna do now what's my next move that's my thoughts late at night when i'm in bed i be brainstorming but i'm never thinking of comments so yeah i don't think of it i don't think of nothing i don't know what to think of it because i don't care for it so yeah it's not a topic sadly I think some people want it to be a topic for me or for me to start caring. But that's never going to be me. So if that's the case, y'all need to just stop because. Come on. Come on. Look at me. Mad pretty. Comments can't get to me. <laughs> Question number seven is How do you keep your relationship happy with all the hate? Um, I don't really think we have a lot of hate towards our relationship. I think a lot of people actually like us together. Um, but if we did have a lot of hate towards us, I know people in real life be like, hmm, a little funny. They be jealous, but ain't no hate, like, where people be trying to break us up and do weird shit. People just let us live. So, yeah, I don't think we have any hate. People just admire us and adore us. Every time they see us outside, they're like, oh, my God, you're so pretty. Why y'all look good? Even random people. It's weird. Even people who don't even be knowing who we are. Anywhere we go, we walk in the city, they be like, y'all make a good couple. Y'all look good together. So, I don't have to do nothing to keep the relationship, like, good from hate. Because we don't get any hate. Now, we know people jealous and envious. People be weird and side-eyed. But that shit don't affect nobody's relationship. Um, it doesn't bother anybody. So, yeah. I'm going to need to check on my chicken in a few. But, yeah, um... It's nothing to keep happy with hate because we don't have hate. The only hate we have is from the motherfucking stalker. That's the hate that we have that came in. And that don't, that don't bother nobody either, shit. Still living, still happy, so yeah. Um, but if you do have hate in your relationship, the best thing to do is ignore it. And don't post your relationship, I think. So it won't give no one a reason to envy you. Because I feel like when you post it... You throw it out there in people's face is gonna make them want to break it up, but that's that's not our situation. So yeah, uh, I think people actually really like us together. So it's no hate, it's just love. Question number eight: What was the worst mistake I made in 2021? I don't regret nothing I do in life because everything teaches me a lesson. But I would say it's letting phony bitches around me. Just, and letting them stay around me for too long. That's what I regret. I always regret friends. And 
energies around me. I don't I don't like that. And I hate that I'd be having it around me for a, a certain amount of time and just be letting it rock. The only thing I regret is fake friends and looking past shit. Because anything you look past is going to be the reason you dub a person later. Okay? So keep that in mind. Even if it's the smallest thing, just not, don't look past it. Because whatever you look past is going to be the reason you end things with a person in the future. And you're going to start to see it. And you're going to wish you did it. And did it sooner. So, yeah. That's the only thing I regret is having multiple fake people around me. I hate fake bitches. Uh, user bitches. Uh, just people who just be around me just to be around me. But don't genuinely even like me. I think they just like what I bring to the table. And uh, the attention they get off of being my friend. Yeah, so the only thing I regret in 2021 is keep continuing to link with these IG girls. I said I'm going to stop doing that. Like, I don't need friends. And that's my problem. I be wanting friends and I don't need no damn friends. It's the only thing I regret in 2021. 2021 was an amazing year for me. And before that and now. So, yeah, the only problem was fake friends. Ugh. I hate fake friends. And I need to stop letting them around me. That's it. I let them get too, too close and too comfortable with me. And yeah, that's the only regret that I have in 2021. Question number nine is, how did me and Brash meet? That's my boyfriend. And I told y'all the story already, but I took it down on YouTube because I'll put one, I'll put something as a title and y'all reread the title backwards and y'all read what y'all want to read and put this image in your head of what y'all want to put. But it's like, y'all just weird, so y'all do shit like that. But uh, we met on Instagram. We met on Instagram. He DM'd me. And then I told him to come to a party that I was working in the club. And he said, I'm locked up, baby girl. Boy, was I mad. So I just ignored him. But I wrote back the next day. <laughs> For some reason, I just would have straight ignored it. But I decided to write back the very next day and say, when you come home. <laughs> that was mad funny. I took a whole day to write back because I was really mad about that. But then I woke up in a different mood the next day and I was like, let me write this boy back. I'm going to just ask when he coming home. And he said soon. Niggas be lying. You know, I think old jail niggas say that soon. They don't be knowing a the date. They don't be knowing shit. They just be like soon. Like, damn, y'all some fucking liars. But he did come home soon, I guess, because shit. He's here now, but... Yeah, we met on Instagram. Don't go on Tinder. Don't go on Black People Meet. Go on Instagram. Instagram, you're going to find your nigga. <laughs> In my opinion. <laughs> you laughing over there? Hmm. Don't be laughing. I hope you're laughing with me, not at me. <laughs> okay, question number 10. What do you see yourself changing this year that's different from last year? And I said this on my close friends. Only thing I want to work on this year is my anger. My mouth and my attitude, like, uh, I get ticked off so bad. I have anger problems. I don't know why. I just be ready to, to turn on people so fast. Like, y'all yeah, know what turn means? Like, I really turn. Like, <laughs> I, be, I be good and then I turn. Like, I haven't been diagnosed with it, but I know I'm bipolar. <laughs> so, it's just, I just want to change my attitude. And my anger problems. And yeah. But I, I've been doing good on that first of all. To talk about it. I've been learning how to communicate with people. And tell people how I feel. Before I go off on them. Usually I just be on some suck my dick. But now I don't say that no more. I'm not so quick to throw the frank. Like for real. Now I just be like. Telling people. And I don't like that either. Because I'm not about to be writing people, telling people nothing no more. And telling them how I feel. Because people have been taking advantage. So I'm about to start throwing franks again, you see. But no, I cannot go back to being the old me. So I'm just trying to change. You can't let someone bring you back into the old ways. Into your old habits. So yeah, I just be trying to communicate with people nowadays. Instead of just going off so fast. So only thing I want to change is my anger issues. My attitude and shit like that. I'm trying. Have I been doing good? Babe. Yeah. I've been doing good. Are you shaking your head? They can't hear you. Yeah, you've been doing good. <laughs> I just gotta laugh at this nigga, bro, cause boy, why are you lying? You really mean that? Yeah. You a liar. 
I just been trying to control my anger. That's all, bro. I just be angry. I'm an angry little bitch. <laughs> That's mad funny. I really am an angry little bitch. I'm not lying. That's the only thing I'm trying to change. It's, it's my ways. I'm trying to change my ways, guys. They need to stop on Twitter. Every time my sister likes something on Twitter, it starts going crazy. Like, but I like that. She give me mad likes on Twitter because I be feeling like I be putting shit. It's not that's mad funny, and they get two likes. No, I call my sister. Go like my post. Like, I need I need the likes to come in, and then she go like it mad fast, and they just coming in. Y'all hear that beep 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 every five minutes? That ain't no Instagram. That's Twitter. They blowing me up. They like my post. And go follow me on Twitter too. I'm gonna put my Twitter below for you guys since like my Instagram's always getting disabled and it's always something with that. Follow the Twitter because Twitter, Twitter's there. Twitter don't give a damn. Twitter gonna stay up regardless. Okay? So yeah. All right. Let me go to the next question. I gotta get my laptop for this one because the last five questions I went on live and I asked for them there and they're on my laptop. Let me go get my laptop. Right. I got my laptop. Let's see the questions. <sighs> okay. Question number 11. This is 11. Yeah, question number 11. When am I getting married? Brash. They want to know when I'm getting married. <laughs> when I get married, it's definitely going to be the Brash. I promise y'all. Y'all would not. Y'all not going to see me married. Damn. Y'all not going to see me married. Unless it's to this man, because this is my soulmate. Y'all don't know. But babe, when I'm getting married? Really I'm getting married soon. So, that's the answer to that question. I mean, delete. Okay. <laughs> How many kids you want? Y'all want me with a kid so bad? <sighs> when I do have a kid, I better not forget about me. Okay. Um, As of right now... I really wanted to do the, the kids like back to back, like a boy and a girl to get out the way so I could live the rest of my life. But then I was thinking maybe that's not such a good idea. So maybe I was just thinking just one right now. How many kids you want, Brash? Who's pushing out a football team? Football mom. Football mom, fucking dad. <laughs> you fucking stupid. I don't know. Realistically speaking, probably like five kids because I want mad kids to take care of me when I get older in the house. And I want most of them to be boys so they can defend their mother. Like, hello, I've been defending people all my life. I need that energy back. God is going to give me that energy back. No cap. I know he is. He got me. Give me some sons. Take care of their mom. Fuck Brash up when he act up. Like, your father did this? Yeah, go get it. <laughs> question number 12 or oh, is it I don't know whatever what is like having a famous sister um is lit I guess the hell I mean people envy me I think the most because of that I think y'all be mad because my sister's my sister <laughs> I think y'all really be mad that my sister's my sister uh a lot of people don't like me and it's because of my mouth. That's what I'm trying to work on this. You have to help me though. Y'all cannot talk shit to me and expect me to ignore and be nice. You have to work with me. So yeah. Um, it's lit. And then again, it's annoying. You know why? Because people envy you just because they envy me just because that's my sister. And they don't want to like me. A lot of people don't want to like me. They want to not like me. But then a lot of people feel like they have no choice but to like me because I'm my sister's sister. So they just try to dick ride. But I know the fakes and I know the phonies. That's how I fuck with you bitches. But yeah, either way, still my sister so. Yeah, I'm mad and she ain't your sister. So yeah, um, uh, it's lit because I don't know. It's just lit. <laughs> it's just lit, that's it. Like people be hating and then people, people love you for it. Then people hate you for it. So it really don't matter to me. Either way, people's gonna love us regardless. But like, having my sister that's really, really lit. Yeah, it's lit. 
I get benefits and shit. Mm -hmm. Y'all be jealous. Y'all be so jealous. But it is what it is. And that's just my motherfucking life. Period. This is the next question. And to be honest, I already lost track. Like, this is what happens when you smoke weed for mad years. Like, you lose track of things. So, what is my hidden talents? Um, the only hidden talent I have is that I can sing. I can sing and talk shit. <laughs> I can sing. That's my hidden talent. That's my biggest hidden talent. Everything else ain't special to me, so. Oh, you getting under that covers and that blanket on the couch? You finna go to sleep on me. Damn, let me take my makeup off at least. Oh, this boy just be falling asleep on me. Like, damn, I let me record my YouTube video. He make me want to turn the camera off and just run. Because once I know he going to sleep, I want to go to sleep too. I want to sleep. I want to sleep right under him. But my hidden talent, the only hidden talent that I have is that I can sing. I'm big on the singing, like. I really could sing, like. And I got a deep voice. Y'all would never know I have an angel voice on the side. So, <laughs> I'm not letting nobody hear nothing. Y'all gonna have to hear when y'all hear it. But yeah, um, that's a hidden talent. Definitely a big hidden talent. I'm a motherfucking singer. Period. Okay, this is the last question, so let's stretch it out. Does it genuinely bother you on how everyone talk about your butt? Now, this is for the TikTok trolls. I don't know if they follow me on YouTube. I don't know. I think they just follow me on TikTok because I don't even think a lot of them know me and like all the social medias. They just know me from TikTok. So they don't even know me. But if y'all do know me and if y'all on here, I don't give a fuck. The fuck? Like, damn. I use that to troll, bro. I use that to make more videos. I use that to get more views. And what's even better is I don't look how y'all think I look. So that just makes it even better, you know? Like, it's different if I look how I think I look. I don't look like that. I look perfect. So yeah, um, it doesn't bother me. It's, it's actually like very entertaining that y'all think I look this certain type of way. And I get views off that shit. Like, that's kind of lit. I didn't know that. I'm really lit on TikTok. Off the trolling, but that shit don't bother me, so you know. To me, I'm really lit on TikTok. The fuck? Like, that shit don't stop me from sleeping at night. I don't go to bed and think, damn, I don't like my butt. I love my butt, and I feel like I need more butt. And, yeah, I'm not gonna do the butt shots, but I really wanna do a fat transfer. The hell? If I could get the fat, I'm gonna do it, because I feel like. I want my butt to look how they think it look. Yeah. I want it to look how they think it looks. Dead ass serious. I'm so serious. Like, I'm so serious when I say this. I want a bigger butt. So, yeah. I feel like I gained a little weight now. And my butt looked bigger before because I was skinnier. But now, I feel like it's smaller. And I want it to be bigger. But I don't want to be as skinny as I was before. I want to keep the little bit of weight I gained. But I want that butt, how it looked on them, on that skinny body. So I want more butt. I want more butt. Fuck y'all. I want more ass, more ass, 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 ass. So yeah, no, don't bother me. That's that. Okay, guys. So that's the ending. That was the last question that I had to answer for y'all. Uh, I don't really have any other questions. Those are the, the only questions that I had. Hopefully this video was like long enough for y'all. Hopefully y'all got to know me more. If y'all feel like y'all didn't know me. Uh, hopefully this entertained y'all. Hopefully y'all like this video. Comment. Subscribe. I'm trying to get back on my YouTube shit. Like hello. I'm trying. Leave some freaking ideas for me below in the description box. Like not the description. I'm bugging. I'm going to put all my Instagram handles and all my social media handles in the description. But in the comments, leave some leave some ideas. Not with the pranks. I'm not a prankster. Like, I don't, I don't think I can do the pranks. I just don't think that would ever work for me. It's not my personality. But, yeah, everything else. Any other ideas I can do that's, like, a little more calm, you know? Like, 
talking what else y'all want to know i don't know just leave it below in the comments and let me know and yeah i'll be trying to record for y'all as much as i can when you see me doing my hair videos please mind your business i'm collecting these wigs these people hit me up they pay me to wear these wigs so if you see all those videos back to back that's all the money i just collected this week and i changed all my wigs like every freaking week and get the wig and collect the money and just do the video for them like hello this this is this is money this is it to bore you out of death okay but yeah guys i'm done i want to take this makeup off my face and get in the shower and finish cooking my dinner and yeah that's just what i'm doing right now I'm gonna eat some food look for a movie to watch speaking of movies before i finish this video i'm gonna tell y'all what i did today really fast why not y'all got time i know y'all do so today try to do a little something cute go to the movies hee hee with my boyfriend you know I never go to the movie theaters because I feel like if I can't smoke there, I don't want to go. Like, I'd rather stay in the crib and watch all the movies I can and smoke mad blunts. But I'm like, fuck it. Let's go to the movie theaters. Scream is out. Very desperate to watch Scream. I grew up off that movie. They haven't came out with a Scream in a very long time. So I need to see that. That's a must. So, yeah. We go to the movies today. Right? We go to the movies. We went. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to try to make this as short as possible as I can for y'all. We go to our seats. And someone's in our seats. So I'm like, oh, hell no. This is already starting off bad. Like, this is why I don't come to movies, bro. This why I don't come to movies. And they got the same ticket as us. Same seats, same tickets. Long story short, we got the manager and all that. And they ain't going to say our tickets is for tomorrow. Like, I don't know why Brash let me book anything. I don't know why he lets me do anything. He know I always make mistakes. Like, I booked it for tomorrow. Like, I'm fucking tight, bro. The fuck? Who does that? Niggas went crazy on a manager. And Brad, Brad usually be quiet and I be going crazy. This time he was going in. Said, this time it was him. Nigga said, I think I know what the problem is. <laughs> the ticket is for tomorrow, bro. <laughs> nah. I know Brad didn't want to laugh at me, but he keep bothering me about it every night. Like, tell him to leave me alone, like, every night. All night, he's bothering me about it. Like, I'm laying in the room in the bed, and he walking by the room, like, laughing and shit. Like, shut up, boy. I make mistakes. The hell? That's what happens. Shit. Fucking tight. So, nigga said our shit is for tomorrow. Shit got me tight, bro. Whatever. I'm going to be there tomorrow, though. Got me fucked up. I need to see my screen. Okay. Okay, guys. I'm out. I have to go. I talked too much already. This whole video. And yeah. That's basically what happened, yo. I booked the shit for tomorrow. Like, why would I do some shit like that? Shit got me tight. Whatever. It's fine. Um, I'm out. Thanks for watching. If you did watch. Subscribe. Like. Comment. Like I said, comment below in the comments. Leave me some video ideas to do. And I'm out, guys. Y'all like my makeup? I did it. Yeah. I be doing my makeup and shit. Okay, guys. I'm out. And if you also like this wig, this is from Wiggins Hair Company. Go in the description box below to get a 10% discount off. If you want to shop with them, shop with them. If you don't, oh, well. This is 24 inches. And this shit look like 30. Bye, guys. Follow me on Instagram. Thank you. On Twitter too. I'll put everything below. Bye. I respect shit starters, not no shit type us. Three year break, I still get the shit hyper. Shot back to the top.